So in number three, we're going to construct an angle bisector. An angle bisector is going to be a ray that splits our angle right in half. So if this angle right now is, I don't know, let's just say 60 degrees, and we construct the angle bisector, it's going to divide it into two equal angles, both 30 degrees. Okay, so the first step is you want to take your compass, and you want to place the end of it on uh, the vertex of the angle, which is Y. Now, at this point, you can draw a circle or you could draw uh, just an arc. I usually just draw arcs so it's not crazy looking. But we need to draw an arc. It doesn't matter how much you open it up. Just don't open it up past these arrows down here. So, like, I don't know, about here is good. But draw an arc so that it intersects both of the rays. So that would be good enough. Then what we're going to do is, hold on a second here. We are going to take our compass and we're going to place the end, and then for you guys the hole, or for me the pencil, um, in the two places where the arc that we drew intersects both of those rays. So place one end um, where this ray and the arc intersect, and then place the hole of the compass on the other end there. Hold a second. I'm going to make a few adjustments here. I can't get it perfect. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. All right, so like that. So you have it opened up that distance. And then you just take your compass, and you're going to, again, you can do a circle, but I'm just going to draw an arc. But I'm just going to draw an arc with it. Like, that's good enough. Because here's what you're looking for. Eventually, we're going to have another arc that intersects this one, and we want to figure out well, where do they intersect. And remember, it's going to be, like, through the middle of it. Okay, so keep the same setting that you had. And now, take your compass. You're going to have to flip it around. With the same setting that you had before, place the one end where the arc and the uh, ray intersect. And, then, and don't move anything, okay? So I've got the hole there, right? All right, and then I draw another arc like this. Ignore that little mark I have there, by the way. And that's what you want, the two arcs to intersect. And then just take your straight edge, and let's see, this time I just need a ray, so it should be that. Color green. And take your straight edge and go from the vertex Y through the intersection of these two arcs, and that's your angle bisector. You can see that it splits it in half. Next question, we want to construct the angle bisector for angle BCA. Ignore the triangle. Focus just on that angle. So BCA is basically ignoring side AB, so pretend it doesn't exist. So in this case, what you want to do is, let me just flip this around, we want to place the end of the compass on the vertex. Well, the vertex would be the middle letter, so the vertex is going to be C. And we're going to open up our compass, and again, for the amount, you just can't go like past the B and past the A. So right about where I have it is good. So just draw an arc. Now we have to get the measurement of where the arc intersects the two sides of the triangle. Um, so I take the compass and I'm going to place one end where the arc intersects that side and then adjust it so that the pencil or pen is where um, the arc intersects the other side of the triangle. Okay, once you get that distance, just draw an arc. Keep that setting. Don't change it at all, but just flip your compass around because you have to draw another arc the same distance. Okay, so like this. All right, there they intersect. And then we're going to draw our ray. So let's see, I need one arrow, and I'll do red. And then, ooh, whoa, what happened there? That was not good. Oh, I didn't choose the line. That, <laughs> that something seemed off there. A little entertainment for you guys. Purple, all right. So I go from the vertex C through the intersection of the two arcs, and there is our angle bisector, splitting angle BCA right in half.